Hello and welcome along and welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm. We are heading here to the boundary of Fields 52 and uh, sort of our scraggly area here because I want to get rid of this boundary. So if we pop out, we're going to leave the roadway here up to this point. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of this boundary here and make this all one big field. Uh, so that we just we could just work the thing as uh, as one big one. We're then going to get the cultivator out and uh, and get this field. If, um, there we go. Uh, and uh, and get this field cultivated as well. Just get that first little bit there, and then we can get the rest very easily. Uh, but yeah, we want to cultivate this and then we want to get this whole field seeded. Uh, it is the third day of autumn. Our grass has not yet dried, but it is a good drying day today. So I'm hopeful that the last of the grass that we're trying to get turned into hay will get turned, which will be good. We do have another field that we might get cut as well. Uh, we'll see how we go with leaving this and, uh, and with getting some work done on our animals. But... Uh, yeah, I've got a grass field I'd quite like to get cut and turned to silage if I can. So uh, we're going to have a go with that as well, I think. And sort of generally, it's a little bit calmer uh, since the uh, last couple of days of, uh, of absolute chaos. Uh, there are lots and lots of fields about on here that are waiting to, uh, to come ripe. And I'm hoping what's going to happen is we're going to get a lot of harvesting contracts just appear suddenly or possibly even fields that we can go and lease and uh, and do harvest on ourselves not a lot in uh, in our immediate vicinity unfortunately but uh, there are possibilities of kicking about so this should just get us nicely sorted for this yeah taking out this little bit of grassland here there we go And we'll make sure we turn create fields off. Uh, and then next time we need to get that uh, trailer out of the way as well. Because that is in our way. But that's, uh, yeah, that should be good. We get a huge field out of that. Uh, field 62, I'm I'm intrigued to see what happens with it. It's, it's one of those fields now where we are, if it grows too much during the autumn... We could end up with a big issue and, uh, and spoiled crops. Uh, if it does spoil, I'm very, very tempted to just turn it into grass. Uh, a little a little patch of uh, a variable land there isn't a huge amount of use to us. Uh, there we go. Right. And we're going to grab our cultivator now because this will be much wider and much quicker. As a result, we just needed to get rid of that patch of land uh, so that we could do this. There we are, connect all of our pipes up. And we're coming up to uh, sale of our eggs. So our egg sales should be happening fairly soon. Uh, good prices in about two, three days time. So we need to work out how we're going to collect them up and get them out. Uh, we've got I wanted to get an egg hut, but I can't see anywhere that's easy enough to get it placed on here. So we do have that as an issue. Otherwise, uh, things seem to be going fairly smoothly on the farm now. We are in minus 3,000, uh, but that is because we are paying quite a bit per day for all our rentals and everything. It's not too bad, um, but we, we want to try and start reducing our costs here. Uh, Hopefully, we'll soon start making some money from the cows and their milk. Uh, we're going to need that. Now, you can see the slipping that's happening on here with this cultivator on the ploughed earth. So, we're going to have to be a little bit careful on uh, when we're doing seeding. So, we're going to set this seeding later. And probably doing... Well, we need to see what we've, we've got, but probably going to be wheat. I think we're, as far as 
looking at the possibility of maximizing our yield, I think we're in a bit of a tough spot. We, uh, we can't really plant much else other than wheat and barley with this geo. Especially at this point, I think we're... I think we've missed our window maybe for the canola. Let's have a look at what we've got in here. So, we are now into a planting for, yeah, oilseed radish. We're out of it, the canola. So, the canola takes... To hit that point there, canola has to be planted here. This is a hell of a geo. So, yeah, we're looking at putting wheat or barley in here. And, uh, and that is basically what we've got to do. Uh, we've got to try and maximise our yield. And, uh, and yeah, the only thing we can really put in here is wheat and barley. Which, which kind of fits what the, the type of farm we're trying to do here. Uh, even if it is just a, a bit of a, a pain, a bit of an annoyance. Uh, I think the other choice we've got is soybeans, isn't it? Well, no, not necessarily. The window for sunflowers is tiny, but it is coming up for planting very soon. Have we got anything else that's... No, nothing else that can be planted this year. This really is a wheat and barley geo that we've got on here. Those are the two crops that flourish the most. And we can't risk putting such a big field... To not being uh, wheat or barley, I don't think. So I think it's, it's one of those things where it's a bit tough to try and work out exactly how to best play this. I think it would take I think it would take me years of playing this geo to work out exactly when I need to do stuff that is going to benefit me the most. Because as we see, we've got that late planting of wheat that just has not grown. And it's a very slow growing geo, this one. But we are getting this cultivated, so I'm going to get this done, uh, and then we'll get this tractor set up to do some seeding. Come to the fiddlier bits of the field now. Start those little bits at the end that uh, always, always take a little bit longer to do because well they're fiddly and uh and yeah so in this case particularly it's this uh, it's this bit here and we could flatten this out and uh, and maybe put some grass in here just around the field off but to be perfectly honest i quite like having odd shaped fields and not wasting any space so we will uh, we'll do that even though actually i've left that road in which is a bit of a waste of space, but that's all fine. Uh, well, the other thing we need to start looking at doing, actually, is uh, over the next uh, next bit, we can plant grass at this time of year. So we want to start looking at plowing up bits of the cow field and getting them replanted with some decent grass. Uh, that will hopefully kick off the cows doing their uh, grazing and uh, increasing their feed. If it does work that would be great. If it doesn't uh, then uh, we'll have to see what happens. But yeah, I think that uh, that might kick off their grazing and uh, hopefully that will work. We are almost at the end of this little dog leg bit though which is great news because what we can do is head up to the top end and get that done. So come down this side here, and we're going to put uh, we're going to put some dual wheels on this. I discovered uh, on here that this tractor works best on the muddy stuff, and in fact, we'll we'll see this in a minute while we're running over cultivated stuff. Um, if we have a little bit more grip from the dual wheels, so that's what we're going to do. And it tends to you'll see it, it pulls to the side. You have to constantly correct uh, if you don't uh, if you don't put the jewels on here. So that will work really, really well uh, if we switch those out. 
while we get some um, get some wheat into this field. And I'm going to put wheat into here. It's not the greatest uh, as far as our rotation goes. But it's, uh, it's not brilliant either. I mean, yeah, it's either wheat, fallow, barley to do that or just going wheat, barley. Let's take everything else off. Like so, yeah. So it's gonna harm our uh, result, but there's not much we can do. Well, there is. I could leave it all fallow. And this end of the field won't be so bad because we put three wheels in here uh, that failed. But there's, uh, yeah, not much else I can do, I think, other than creating massive grass fields uh, that we then harvest. But uh, we can't afford at the moment to do a year's worth of fallow. Even a 0.86. Well, a 0.86 is better uh, over two years than uh, a year of uh, a fallow. So, yeah. It's just, it's going to be the only way that we can get a decent crop off these fields is to, well, to get any crop off these fields, I should say, is going to be to do it this way. Otherwise, we just risk losing crop. Which we don't want to do and we don't want to happen. Right, so down with this. We are out, out of harvest season uh, for the wheat. So hopefully, as I said, hopefully that wheat is not going to grow any further for now. And uh, and we'll be ready for next year's harvest. I doubt it. I, d I don't think that's going to go a whole year. But uh, we'll see how it goes. That is the cultivating done in this field, though. So we're going to head down. Uh, we're going to drop this off, grab our cedar, and then go and put a uh, good pair of jewel wheels on here, and see if we can get some wheat into our crop. There we are. Is that looking good? Up. Down. Touch hoses. That. There we go. Put this on the back. We might need to fill this up with some seed. We do have some seed. Uh, but this is a lot of field, so we might also have to go and buy some seed, of course. That's a distinct possibility, yeah. So we want to change this to wheat. Open it up. And go and reload it. God, just spraying this little this field with that little sprayer is going to be hilarious. And refill. There we go. Now let's go and get the uh, jewel wheels on the back of this tractor, I think. Down here. And in. There we go. Customize and we want the dual wheels on it. Just give it that extra little bit. Yes, we have no money at the moment. Oh, that's we need to reconnect that. And yep, I think that's done that. And we connect that as well. Like so lift and lift. Now our cables aren't connected. I don't know why they there we go. That's got it. Uh, and I think we'll go and fill up we seem to be drinking fuel rather quickly on here. So I'm gonna refuel this tractor before we start this. 
Because we've had a few instances where we've either run out or come very close to running out. So, we do that. And that, that Bowser, that fuel Bowser, really useful. Um, very, very pleased with how that's worked on it. Let's get this up and round and through. But I think our biggest, uh, yeah, our biggest mistake on this series was choosing the Geo we did. The second biggest was the way we got this farm. We should have rented this farm in the same way as we've rented all the land and not saddled ourselves with such a massive bill in the first place. Now what I want to do is come up to here and we currently have field 52, so what I'm going to do is calculate the current field's edge path. And you can see it's now included the new bit that we've uh, brought into it. So we're going to redo that to field 52 when we find it. Quite a long way up. There we go. And we're going to overwrite field 52 path. Which means that anything we have in here, actually, we went out of the bin. Anything for field 52, because we don't need it. Uh, and then we are going to calculate a new course. So, field 52, uh, current position, yes. Starting direction, automatic. No multiple tools, 4 meters. Headlands, uh, we want to do 3 uh, clockwise on the headland, we want to start with the up downs, we want to turn in the corners, 7% headland overlap, and generate course. And that is an interesting course that that has come up with. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure I'm a fan of that course. <laughs> uh, I suppose it's a 45 degree course, so it should be fine. But, uh, yeah, it's interesting the difference that that new course has, uh, that that new bit of field has made to how this field is, is dealt with. And it starts coming back the other way. So, we want to line it up here. First waypoint. Uh, we've not got a full thing of wheat, so we'll see how far this goes. We'll probably go and pick up some more and drive course. Yeah, I think we need to go and pick up another pallet of seeds in order for this to properly do this. But we'll leave it going, and, uh, and hopefully that'll be good. While we head back over to this tractor here, we need to go and uh, clean out our sheep. Our sheep. Uh, well, we probably do need to clean out our sheep, but we need to clean out our chickens next, uh, who also need some feed. Let's see how we do with 678 litres. Right, and in. Right, how much more do they need? Okay. Probably about the same again. Let's take that up to what, 600 litres. And we've emptied the pallet. Absolutely perfect. That will keep our chickens going for a while. And means that we shouldn't over be, uh, overflow on their setup. So, yep, yeah, that actually is really good. Cows are our next worry. Uh, they need cleaning um, and they need food. So that's what we're going to do. Their water or their uh, straw, both of those we could do next time. Uh, so sort of... Uh, ooh. Getting it to... Uh, spreading it out a little bit. But, but getting these to, to like... Got the blade slightly the right angle. There we go. That's picking it up now. Silage there and done. Perfect. I've been quite pleased with the tractors we've got on here. They've worked out quite well for what we've been doing. 
couple of hay bales. How much have we got in each? 1,200. Okay, so yes, both of these should go in and feed our cows. Wow, well, one of those has gone already. The other is also gone. There we are. Now, I think we should do a run down to the shop, grab some more seeds, because I can see with that, with, even though that cedar is going to take a while, I can see it running out of seeds. Uh, I think that is that is absolutely going to be one of those things that happens. Now, the question is, where is my, uh, where are my forks? Because it's been a while since we used those. Let's have a look. Where are we, where on our farm are our forks? Now uh, we've got a couple of tools down there. There we go. Pallet forks are down the bottom. Most likely place for me to have left them. And so we can go and grab ourselves. We're going to have to borrow more money. And this is, this is the trouble at the moment. We've got a whole issue with our uh, forks. Uh, with, with just our daily income being fairly poor. We do have a massive amount of barley in storage now. Let's have a look here. So we've got 63,000 litres of barley. We've got 10,000 litres of, uh, of wheat. So we are, we're, we're not poor in so far as the crops we have, but that is not going to go as far as it, it first appears it might. Right, drop that off. We really, really need to make some more cash, I think. So these have knocked over. Oh. There we go. That's got them hooked on. So up and put them down a bit. So we might end up uh, coming out of this first year with a profit, but we will still have a massive loan. I don't think I can sell the farm, though, without also selling the animals. Let's just... This will be, this will be a good test. So, you cannot sell this land while you own placeable objects on it. You have to sell those objects first. So, I'm wondering if that is my water tower. What placeable objects do we have? So, we have uh, a cartridge pressure washer, a water station. And I think that's it. Those are the only placeable objects we have. Yeah. So if I sell these two, yes, okay. And sell that, yes. Okay, right. So if we go back now, this was a mad idea I had before. I did not know if it would work sell oh wow let's correct one of our early mistakes let's sell the land this is where this goes horribly wrong uh, and then we're going to go into the global company menu and we're going to go to the leasing and we want to lease field 62 so 62 yep Lease that. Yep, 14,000 lease. Uh, yes. And we should, if we go back in here, own our farm again. The difference is, we can now pay off the majority of our loan. That is huge. That is absolutely massive there. Now, we have a 500. In fact, we can pay off all of our loan. That is just a, a massive, massive piece of... Uh, that is how we should have done this from the start. Absolutely how we should have done this from the start. We can now repay all of this loan. And have 40,000 still in the bank. 
that that here now makes uh, makes this a success. <laughs> we have been successful. Oh man, that's incredible. That means that means we actually haven't uh, we, we've not even spent our initial five hundred thousand on this because yeah that's 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 what the loan was beyond that is absolutely brilliant so that's how successful we've actually been on this series so far we've not spent our initial 500,000 investment yet I'm I'm ecstatic that that has just worked I, I yeah I still can't believe that we've managed to to switch managed to sell the farm pay off the loan and uh and and replace it with our uh with the leasing on the farm so we are we are now tenant farmers on our land uh which is which is quite something uh bag of seed, uh pallet of seeds uh is what we are after yes okay uh, i don't think there's anything else we're after while we're up here nothing else is um we're we'll probably while we're here we we might as well get some fertilizer as well um i don't think we're, we're fine for liquid fertilizer and, and herbicide uh but we needed uh we did need some solid fertilizer while we were here so that is all good we're gonna need to get a um a mixing wagon at some point Oh, wow, I forgot we had a I forgot we had a pallet of fertilizer up here already. Uh, never mind. So what we'll do is we'll park this around here like so, and uh, and get that going. I oh, uh, starting from scratch, being able to lease fields and lease uh, equipment, massively important both. Because that will get you through your first year. That will get you to a position where you can start buying stuff. If you can keep your costs down in that first year. Especially while the uh, while the cows... You know, if you're going to do dairy, the cows will not produce money from milk for the first year. So having being able to lease the land and everything, uh, that is perfect. That is absolutely brilliant. Please and straight, straight out, and that will allow me to do that. And then this one as well. Yeah, I'm very pleased. That is that is going to be a turning point for this series because that loan was crippling us. We were going into the red every single day. Now we only have to pay for our leased equipment, which is not much. Not much at all. Oh, that's jumping off. Okay. Nothing much. Put the seeds next to that then. So to uh, yeah, to do that, I'm uh, I'm very very pleased about. It. Now it's just the now it's just the do I remove the geo? If I do you think removing the geo is a wise way to go, and we just run on a normal geo on here? Shift the wet weather patterns at this point, where it doesn't actually matter to our crops, I don't think. Well, it might matter to the wheat that we've got growing in field uh, 61, but consider I'm writing that off pretty much anyway. There we go. I don't know. It's, it's a difficult choice to make. Hook it up. Hook those up. Uh, let's strap this all down. I yeah, uh, don't need that in strap. There we go. Hold that round and away we go. Yeah, very interesting time and very interesting way to go with this. We now own none of our land. Interestingly, 
So let's get this back down to the farm because, wow, our seeds are down to 7%. It's going to need a refill by the time we get back. As expected, our cedar is in need of refilling. So we're going to take this up the top, get this ref uh, get the cedar refilled, and uh, it can continue on. Uh, I think it's probably going to need refilling again uh, before the end of this field. Look at the size of this field. Although it's done a fair amount so far. Yeah, it is, uh, it is over here and in need of that. So I'm just going to run over and uh, and get that done actually no it's done it's done a lot of field on what it had so uh, yeah not at all bad let's get this over here and reverse this up all in all it's been uh, it's been good it really has right so stop driver refill while well, that's refilling current waypoint right of course yep that's continuing on from where it left off I just want to redo these struts there we go we'll go and take these down to the bottom and get it out of the way but uh, yeah that is that is good all in all, that is good. I'm uh, I'm coming away from this feeling very very positive. We've got a uh, we've got a large large field we're working uh, we've got going into it. We still have thirty six thousand pounds from the original five hundred. It's not like we've we've not actually sold anything. We've done one contract, I think. So this is all this is all money that has has come from. Um, from that initial 500 so that is that is amazing no loan uh, yes we are renting our land and it'll be interesting to see what effect uh, this has and we are still losing money because we're renting land I don't think we have we got anything leased yes so our plow is leased and our bale stacker is leased so we're not leasing a lot of equipment uh, we're just leasing a, a couple of bits of equipment. And uh, and so, yeah, we're in a pretty, pretty good position. I think it's fertilizer that's in our um, spreader, in our shed as well. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get some care wheels on this. And, uh, and get that field spread at some point. We, need to, we still need to get that grass up. That grass is either going to start to rot uh, or is going to dry out. It'll be interesting to see where it is by the end of this game day. Let's get these in position. Head back up the top with our flatbed. And we can just leave our other tractor going and doing its, uh, doing its thing. 86% so that might have to get refilled at some point but I can just bring it back down here to do that and we're we are with the first day of uh, of mid autumn so uh, we can continue doing that seeding next time if we want uh, as I said though we do need to start plowing up the cow area to try and get that so that it's um, it's doing proper grass this is a huge area of, of fairly useless grass to us. So I want to sort that out. Um, lots of bits and pieces that we need to do around here. But in general, we're looking pretty solid now. We've got a lot less risk than we had when we started this video. So this trailer can go away in here. Like so, and that means I'm going to finish off at this point here, I think. Uh, and as a result, that means that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. 
and for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.